guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video today's video is by far my most requested most asked question most spoke about thing in my dms and that is my hair care routine my hair secrets tips to growing your hair thick and healthy and shiny my hair over the years has been it's been blonde believe it or not it's been a blunt bob i've had different forms of extensions um but now my hair is all naturally mine granted it is not the longest but over the past i'd say over the past year i feel like i've been on a hair transformation and hair journey to really grow my hair thick and healthy and it's definitely in the best condition that it's ever been before so yeah in this video i'm going to talk you through exactly what i do to my hair every single week my masks what i use to wash it and all my little tips and secrets to keep my hair feeling nice and healthy okay so i thought i'd start off with hair masks i get so many questions about this because if you follow me on instagram you'll know that i talk about castor oil all the time i've been using castor oil for quite a few years now i use it on my brows my eyelashes and my roots um but there's a lot of confusion of how i use it because it's quite a thick product so i'm going to talk you through exactly what i do when i'm doing a hair mask i do a hair mask once a week every week usually on a sunday because that's my little self-care day um and it's always hair wash day on the monday morning so that works perfect for me but you just put it into your schedule however it suits your lifestyle and i do mix up which masks i use every week however one component which i always always use is castor oil so i just get mine from amazon it's literally about five pound and this is 100 percent natural castor oil i heard about this quite a few years ago and was told that it helps to grow your hair it's meant to make your hair really thick and i started using it since that point and i can 100 percent say this has aided towards my brows growing i used to have the thinnest brows ever my eyelashes I, I literally had hardly any eyelashes after my eyelash extensions were out and um, they've came back so thick and my hair grows so fast and i really do put it down to this so when i'm doing a hair mask i will always just put this into the palm of my hand i'm going to insert a clip showing you how i do each step um, and rub it together it is a thick consistency don't worry about that just literally rub it together in your hands and massage it into your roots i really focus on massaging it right in making sure it's all over the roots and especially the front bits so because i wear my hair tight in a bun i often get sparse bits here so i really focus the product in the front bits of my hair and any places that i want thicker hair growth there's no limit to how much castor oil i use or any specific amount i just keep going until i feel like all my roots are covered and that my head has enough on to have some benefits i then go in with this little spray bottle now what is in here is the tika coconut oil i'll insert a picture of what the bottle looks like from amazon um but i just bought this little bottle from b&m and transferred it in because it's so much easier to put on your hair that way this is a blend of coconut oil and castor oil but as you can see it's a lot thinner of a consistency compared to the castor oil i use this to just drench all over my roots again and bring it through kind of the mids of my hair and um, with the castor oil obviously that's a little bit too thick to put anywhere further down than your root so with that it just lets me get my hair really drenched when i've got a hair mask in i like it to be fully covered all throughout my hair again with the fatica oil literally less than five pounds for the bottle so these are not expensive products that you need but they are so good i've been using that since the since i think like the early summer and again my hair my hair's never been so shiny in its life and then the product which i interchange every week whichever one i fancy is the hair mask for the ends and um, one that i've been gravitating towards recently is the grow gorgeous intense mask this is a thickening hair and scalp mask although i don't really put it through my scalp this on the ends makes it so soft i've just washed it out and it makes your hair really soft really shiny and just feel really thick this brand actually has a lot of products for hair growth and thickening which i am really keen to try and um, but i haven't tried anything else from there yet but i'm gonna order some and give them a go so once the products are all through my hair my hair is looking pretty drenched and greasy and oily i then go in with a tangle teaser this is such an important part um make sure that you have a separate tangle teaser to your normal one for your normal hair otherwise you are going to drag all the oil and all the product onto your clean hair when you use it the day after and um, so this is my specific hair mask tangle teaser um, so i'll just scrape it all through which just drags the product through the hair evens it out and then scrape it into a high bun i keep it in a high bun if i'm around the house if i'm going to be pottering sometimes i'll go for a dog walk with this in my hair like i've got no shame 
I'm growing my hair thick and healthy, thank you, don't mind me. Um, however, when I do go to bed, I make sure to switch to a silk scrunchie. Silk scrunchies are so important, they don't break your hair, they won't be too much pressure on like the ends. Also, when I put them in the scrunchies, I make sure that it's not a super tight bun as well, just you don't want that pressure pulling your hair back. I'll even sometimes put it in a plait, um, just make sure that it's not giving you a facelift while you sleep. And another massive thing, which I get so many questions about, is do I just sleep with the mask on my pillow? Like, does it get all over your pillowcases? I always put down a towel, or more so recently, I've been putting a silk pillowcase on to sleep and then taking it off and washing it the next day. I always wash my bed sheets the day after anyway, just because I think you can get a bit of like residue which comes through. Um, and like I said, you don't want to then sleep with your clean hair on the dirty pillow but i do always put a towel down to protect the bed sheets so yeah i think that is everything in terms of the hair mask situation um like i said i always do it the day before hair wash day so when my hair is greasy oily full of wax full of gel it's been styled throughout the week um i don't wet my hair before i do it i do it on dry hair and yeah that is what works for me. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is how I wash my hair. So one massive thing which I think changed the hair game for me is that I went from washing my hair three to four times a week to washing it once a week, every week. So usually I wash my hair on a Sunday, it's like my little ritual. Um, but if you know, for some reason I don't end up washing it that day, I'll do it another day. It's self-explanatory. But yeah, I always wash my hair the day after I do a hair mask and that lasts me the whole week. My hair used to get so greasy that I would have to wash it all the time but I've just learned and kind of trained my hair to not get that greasy and granted it still gets greasy by the last day it is greasy however I just do a mix of styles I'll wash it for example I washed it this morning style it this will last me three days I'll clip it back I'll dry shampoo it I'm going to talk to you about my dry shampoo and then it goes in a high bubble for the last like two days and honestly not washing my hair so much has 100% helped my hair and the healthiness of it. So when I do wash my hair, I use the Mane and Tail Deep Moisturising Shampoo. I've used this shampoo for a good few months now. I think I'm pushing on six months and I love this. I'd heard amazing things that it was really good for hair growth. Um, it says it's for dry and damaged hair and I've had great results from using this. I feel like it's not got a lot of chemicals in, doesn't dry your hair out, doesn't itch your scalp or anything like that and yeah, it works really, really well. They also have loads of conditioners and um, moisturising sprays and stuff but I do not use conditioner. That blows people's mind when I tell them that. However, because I only wash my hair once a week and I do it after my hair mask, I feel like it just doesn't need it. Like, I haven't used any conditioner. It's so soft. It's moisturised. And if I was to add conditioner, I feel like it would just go too greasy. So I do not use conditioner at all. This shampoo has vitamin E and vitamin B5. So it's great for strengthening your hair, leaving it looking super glossy. And yeah, I will continue to use this, continue to buy this because it is such a good find. It is so cheap. You can get it on Amazon, PLT, look fantastic, literally anywhere. And it is fab. Okay, so moving on to my hair care when I get out of the shower, once it's washed. I hope this is informative and actually working. I'm going to try and write on screen things, leaving little clips, and I'll also leave everything down below in the description. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, but when I do get out of the shower, I will just towel dry my hair really lightly, brush it through with a clean tangle teaser, and then I'll add a few products. So first thing is the Hair Burst Volume and Growth Elixir. Alexa? I don't know how to say that word. This has avocado and coconut in it and it is designed to improve gloss and add volume. I literally just spray this all through my roots. Again, massage it in so it's nice and distributed all over the root of my hair. And I've been using this again for probably about half a year now and love it. Makes my hair so, so shiny. And I do think all of these products together play a part in the overall growth of my hair. Once I've put that in, I then move on to heat protection spray. This is, I mean... If you haven't had this drilled into your head from a kid, then I don't know. Heat protection spray is so important for your hair. Anytime you're about to put heat on it, you need to use this because essentially you are just frazzling your hair. This is just a VO5 one. I'll be honest, I'm not very picky about heat protectant. I think it just does the job. Um, but this is heat protection spray for a glossy finish up to 230 degrees Celsius. Heat defense, I use this when my hair's wet. Spray it all over, brush my hair through again with the tangle teaser to make sure it's evenly distributed and then finally i'll go in with the moroccan oil treatment i feel like you all will have seen this it's a very popular product i get mine from look fantastic and this just leaves your hair 
smelling amazing, looking so glossy, so shiny and just, it, this is just my favourite oil. I've used so many different oils over the years. This is by far my favourite. You need the tiniest, tiniest bit. I literally just put it in my hand, rub my hands together and rub it through the ends before I style it and dry it. And it is just such a nice finish. Once I've dried my hair and styled my hair, I also go over with a little bit more of this just over the curls. Just to give it like that natural look when I'm brushing them out. And just to add more shine because I honestly love it. I feel like this product as well really helps my hair to stop going frizzy if I'm outside. Especially on the tops where I used to have a lot of flyaways. This really tames them and keeps everything down. And then the final thing that I'm going to show you today is dry shampoo. Like I said, I wash my hair once a week and dry shampoo is my best friend. Everywhere I go, dry shampoo is coming with me and I thought I'd just show you my favourite which I found. I've tried a lot, um, a lot of different brands, the cheaper ones, the more expensive ones and my favourite is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is just such a good product. I spray it in my roots and I leave it to set. Your hair does look a little bit white when you first put it in. I leave it to set, absorb any grease, any oils that have been produced throughout however long it's been since I washed my hair. I then massage it in with my fingers and then just take my tangle teaser and brush it all through. I find that this actually works over time. So if I use this, for example, on a Monday, on the Tuesday I'll wake up and my hair looks like freshly washed again. It's as if it works like over time, overnight. Um, so this, I feel like I can use it once and it sorts my hair out for at least two days. So this is definitely my favourite. It obviously is a little bit more expensive than your standard um, like supermarket ones or Batiste and stuff, but I do think it's definitely worth it. And it says that it eliminates oil, sweat and odour. So it's a yes from me. So yeah guys, that is how I look after my hair. That's a few little secrets, tips, and just some help on how I do it because I get so many questions all the time. If you have any more questions or anything like further explained, let me know down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it would mean the world to me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.